Beach and I am from the Mission Beach Surf Life Saving Club. Welcome Casper Coast to CCIN's weekly segment for our 2019 July 18th newspaper edition. We look forward to showing you a few highlights that, we, that were in last week's newspaper and some of the action coming up in this week's edition. If you like an article and would like to see more content, please subscribe to the app in either Google Play or Apple or buy a newspaper from your local store. Perfect weather draws bumper crowds through the gates of the 105th Innisfail and Districts show. Lots of families took adventure of the great weather, taking their children to the show before the, sc before the start of the sc new school term. The performance by Dream State Circuits of the Flame Joy, which featured a mixture of fire, dance, mu music and acrobatics, was a huge hit on both nights, while large crowds flocked to the grounds for their yearly fix of food, fun and show bags and slideshow alley. There was no something for everyone at this year's show with a number of new events, exhibits and rides along with the age-old favourites such as pavilion displays, pony and horse events. The Resto Reptile Show with snakes and lizards was a popular with adults and children alike while Carter's Animal Farm was a huge hit, especially with the youngest, as they cuddled with and patted chickens, pigs, sheep, ducks, cows, horses and goats. It was a real family affair in the sugar cane section, with Adrian DeVisa winning the minor varieties section, as well as grand champion cane, while his son Hamish won new kids category, which generated a lot of interest with entries, and his other son, Semi, took out kids' senior cane section, with all three taking home a swaying pri prizes. The Australian Banana Packing Championships also drew large vocal crowds and was ho hotly contested between teams of two from Innisfail and Tally, who registers some swift times, with one of their boxes judged on presentation and weight. A spectacular fireworks display by explosive art at the end of each night assured the show finished with plenty of colour and noise. a showcase of recent history making era in vehicle development that attracted a crowd to Cardwell's foreshore last Sunday. Volk Fest by the Sea was run in conjunction with Cardwell's monthly jetty markets that are co coordinated by Cardwell's market queen, Thea Ormond. 
This was the second year that the Vols Fest by the Sea was held in Cardwell and the first year that it was combined with Cardwell's monthly reef markets. 30 Volkswagens and Beetles made a grand entrance to, Car to the Cardwell foreshore where they were on display for the crowd that had awaited their arrival. There was a total of 40 Volks that came to Cardwell last Sunday for the 2019 Volks Fest by the Sea, which was more than double the attendance when compared to 2018. They will be returning in early July 2020 with the hope that it becomes full, a full weekend of fun. The, further, the furthest person who came today, came today was from Maribor, travelled 1,500 kilometres to get here, said Michael Klassen, Klassen the administrator for FNQ VW scans. CCIN met with Darcy Browning, a young lady who likes to rock at old school, who is the administrator of the Tropical Townsville VW page and has a personal skill list of being an IT network, network administrator. I have seen more young I have I have seen more young people getting involved. I am all about getting young people involved. The efforts of all three groups stopped people who were just driving by. When CCIN asked Felice from Ingham, who was visiting the market, why why she was at mar the market, she said, "I happened to be up here during a park run walk today, and I saw the cars, and I stopped." There were 30, 52 stall holders present. When CCIN asked Omond, the co coordinator of the Cardwell Jetty Markets, whether the foreshore market was full, Thea responded, we are booked to capacity. When CCIN asked Sandra Parfit, owner of Sandy's Birds and Pet Supplies, of one of the local market store operators that has been involved with the reef markets for the last four years, what was the most amazing thing that was happening today, last Sunday, at the dirty market. She made an enthusiastic response of all, of, all the Volkswagens, definitely, they're beautiful. Innisfail Leprechaun snatched a narrow 1-0 win over Atherton Roosters in the grand final at Barlow Park. Cairns still have the Premiership trophy in the inaugural season of Cairns District Rugby, Rugby League NRL Women's Touch Football competition and finished undefeated. It was fitting that Ashley Marshall, who went for only for the only try of the final, was named player of the match and finished as competitor's top try scorer. After some solid defence from both sides, neither was available to register post in f the first half. It, was, it wasn't until the second half when Marshall scored for Innisfail, which was enough for them to win the Premiership. At half time, their mentor Aaron Jolly had a good chat with the girls, which they took on board and lifted their game in the second half. It was a fantastic season and there were a lot of goals to reach as we had a mixture of touch and league players who brought their own unique sets of skills and this combination brought a wealth of talent to the side. During the season, general fitness levels had gent gently imp greatly improved with a number of players doing extra sessions outside of their training on Tuesdays and Thursdays at the gym. Well, some girls kept up their fitness by playing netball, touch footy and rugby league. Sue Sands said there are mixed feelings about bringing in the tackle version of the game in 2020 as there are some girls who would prefer to play touch, touch while others love tackle. So she's hoping that they cater for both sides, both codes, as she believes this will increase female participation in rugby league. Innisfail had a number of rugby league players despite the grand final win and end of season. The girls are already back in the gym and trying to keep up their fitness levels before next season. Any girls aged between 50 and 15 and 40 should give touch footy a go as it's great for keeping fit and active as well as team fellowship and long lasting friendship, friendship said Suzanne.
I also want to show you some of the entertainment from our action-packed weekend. We had good weather as the Mission Beach Surf Life Saving Kids splashed in the water for their annual carnival, which brought the crowds down to the beautiful South Mission Beach. The branch covers all the way up to Cairns. Watch for the flag, Penny! What a shame.